Okay, what I'm going to do now is build on the rules. We've got a single rule whether the price is above in this case or below. So we've got the two rules so far. So what we're going to do now is add a new rule. So I've already saved that one. So I'm going to call rules. Again, now I'm going to, uh, it's test rule two. I'm calling this just to, and this is a going to be a bullish engulfing. So I'm just looking for a bullish engulfing candle here. So we'll look at the first a bullish engulfing first. So the price is above the 34. We we want a bullish engulfing price a piece of price action to come here. We click that OK. So now what we're going to do? So we've got our bullish engulfing. So what makes a bullish engulfing candle? Let's just look at a chart briefly. There we go. Actually, there's a bearish engulfing. Where, where, where's a bullish engulfing when you want one? So there you go. There's a bullish engulfing candle. So you've got your bullish engulfing candle, and that's below. So we wouldn't want to trade that one. But anyway, we'll talk about that in a moment. So the rules here is all I'm looking to do is build a bullish engulfing. So to build that bullish engulfing, we've got a higher low and a higher high because it's got a fully uh, com engulf the previous bar so let's do that first so we've got the the, the net or the outline of the rules net here let's start now putting some price levels on so so we want that the high to be greater high of the current bar zero to be greater so we need the the signal greater pop that in there you can only put them in the right places <laughs> make this made life easier and then again we want the high so we want the high greater than the high of the previous bar now so it's going to be one so they're one away two away three away four away five away as it gets further away uh, from where price is and click ok so that means that the, the high of the current bar is greater than the high of the previous bar now I could subdivide all this and make it loads and loads of rules but what I'm going to do is then use this tool up here so you can get an idea of what you can, how powerful it is and what you can do. What I'm going to do here is then put an AND. So I want that first, now I want the low, lower than the low, previous low, to fully engulf it. So the low bar zero, that's fine. And we need to add, use this little box up here to add. If you want to ever take any away, you can just take away, but I'm just adding. Is So that needs to be less than, and the low of minus one. Well, sorry, one, one away. So that gives me the highs higher, the lows lower. Now I want to make sure it's a bullish, and go, bullish one. Uh, so, what I need to do here then is add a, add a final rule and the close of bar zero plus add another rule is greater than the close. Bar one. Now what we're going to do in a moment is I'm going to take this part and we're going to go away and test it. So I'm not going to do the bearish one at all, I'm going to do the bullish one, check that it's all working correctly and then we're going to test it to see if it's given me what I want it to look like. If it's not, then we'll uh, come back and we'll modify it. So we're going to save this rule. Now you can expand the size of this so you can run through and just check, so just using zoom in and out on your, on your mouse there. Um, so you can check what you've got. So the high of the current bar is greater than the high of the previous bar and the, the low of the last bar is less than the previous bar and the, and, the, and the close of the last bar is greater than the close of the previous bar. So that will hopefully give me a bullish engulfing candle. So we'll save the rule and I'll let you catch up on that. Now, one thing I would say at this point, this is just an example. 
you'll see that I'm, I'm putting quite a few things together here. It's just it's simpler. You can subdivide every single part of it, but this is all about the candle itself that I'm looking for. The, the, there are some shortcuts to this, I would add, but uh, for now, I just want you to understand and maybe take the slightly longer way, but learn more about what you're doing. But what you do need to do is write every single rule that you want on the piece of paper or somewhere so that then you can build it up on here. So it's got to be, this is the logic. So we've saved this. This is where I'm going to leave it and I'll let you come back.